So we're just going to start by creating our first chisel site, uh, our blog. And I will quickly rattle off a few object types, a post, an author, probably need a category as well for organizing our content. And now we're just going to dive into post, which is our biggest model. We give it a title. And we it's already required uh, as the first text field. It's automatically assigned as the title field, which is required. We'll have a summary, which will be a, a long form text. Um, and we also want to be able to have sort of rich text in here. So we'll enable the markdown appearance type. Now the body, which will be the sort of main block of content for our blog posts. And again, we'll want the markdown editor for this. Uh, what other fields do we need? We need the author. Uh, this will be a pointer to a, to the author model that we already created, and we'll come back and finish that off in a second. Uh, we're going to stick a publish date on it, so you know that gives us more options for filtering and managing visibility of our content later. We'll add a banner image that uh, we'll use probably in our you know, in our web display, uh, you know, the sort of thing you'll see at the top of the post, we'll make it an image. Now I can also come back and add a validation for the actual file, si file size to make sure the ban banner image is of a certain, um, certain format. And I've just gone back into the author at there and just added a validation on the content type. So we'll carry on uh, another reference with the category and we're going to add some tags, which is just going to be a list of, of text strings that we can select from. Finally, I'll add a thumbnail image, which will just be another media type. Make sure that is a recognized image file. If I can hit the button. Okay. All right, and that's our post. That's, a, that's our biggest model. Uh, lots of fields in there. Um, and as you can see, as a result of that, we've now got a really nice JSON structure for our post model. So we'll quickly fill out the remaining two. So our author model is just going to have a name and probably a, an image, an avatar image for our authors. And again, we'll just make sure that's an image. So that's done. And finally, the category, which would be even simpler, we'll just have a name. And we're done with that too. So that's it. That's our simple uh, blog model set up. Let's go ahead and add our first content entry, our Hello World post, just so you can see how all of that then comes together. So we've given it a title, a little summary text. Now, obviously, we, we could spend a lot more time in the body uh, filling out our content. And now within our post, we're actually going to create our first uh, author model entry so you can see you can actually drill down through the actual um, content item you're editing and it will create that additional that additional item uh, so let's give it a date of today and i'm not going to upload the other images mainly because i haven't got them prepared but we could do that uh, again we're going to create our first category um, so you can see we do that in line and it just joins it straight up. We'll give it a few tags. So this will just come out as an array of little strings and we won't upload the thumbnail image again because I haven't got that. And that is it. In the space of around four minutes, we've modeled a blog, created all of our content models and created our first post.